international incident is brewing between the Chinese government and U.S. airlines. It's demanding that the airlines stop referring to Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau as standalone entities. KPIX 5's Jackie Ward is live at SFO with what China is threatening to do if the airlines don't comply. Jackie? Liz, China's Civil Aviation Authority sent a letter to 36 foreign airlines, including United, which has a major international hub here in SFO. The people we spoke to from Taiwan say that what the Beijing government is doing is wrong. Uh, we think of Taiwan is only Taiwan, and China is China. Li Mei lives in the Bay Area, but was born and raised in Taiwan, where she and her husband James are off to visit today. Now they want us to back because they think that we have a useful. So that's what would make all the people uncomfortable. It is sad what they're trying to do, but, you know, we just try to, you know, stay strong and, you know, just go forward. The Chinese government in Beijing has warned airlines in the U.S. to stop referring to Taiwan, along with Hong Kong and Macau, as sovereign entities and to list them as part of China. The Washington Post obtained the letter that threatens law enforcement may get involved, airlines could face administrative penalties, and China may invoke credit management trial measures, which apparently involves the airline's credit scores. Joseph Ma is the director general of the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in San Francisco. Once we, uh, we yield to this kind of uh, threat or bullying, then it will be a, a, a big a problem in the future. He says China's request to conform to their political correctness isn't right and thinks this will lead to stricter international business guidelines. We should establish a, a basic a principle that is a, a no government should, uh, can use their unreasonable coercive ways to intervene the other country's company. A spokesman for Airlines for America, a trade group that represents airlines like United and American, among other major carriers, said on Saturday that it's working with the U.S. government to determine next steps in this dispute. Live from SFO, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5.